Hello people. In this video, let us look at network analysis. Basically, if they ask you network analysis, it comes under this health planning and management chapter. Under network analysis, you have two types of network analysis. You have PERT, program evaluation and review technique and critical path method. Okay. You have two things here that you will learn now, PERT and critical path method. Okay. So in the exam, they can ask you PERT or critical path method or network analysis. You'll have to write the same thing. See, in project management, you uh, under management, like uh, you, first of all, what is project? In health, in health planning, what type of projects can you have? You can have the ICDS project, the Integrated Child Development Services project, or you can have the Pulse Polio program or so many other pro immunization programs, etc. You can have some projects, right? Some health education projects, etc. So for these projects, you need management. So when you have management, under management, you have a lot of things like um, organization, design, personal management, communication, information, etc., etc. And in quantitative methods, you have something called as network analysis. So this is where we are. Okay, guys, uh, so let's look at network analysis. So what is network analysis? You will make a network like this. You will have a graphic plan of all the events and activities that you have to complete. In which order you will complete to reach your end objective. So you will start here. You will do some activities or events and then you will reach the end, right? So it brings greater discipline in the planning. So you can say, okay, we are here currently. We have to go here. So this is what. There are two types of network technique. You have PERT and CPM. Let's look at uh, these methods. There are two methods of network analysis, namely PERT and CPM. What are the differences? So uh, try to understand this, guys. It is kind of complex. Uh, PERT is something where the design is based on the event and this critical path method is based on the activity. Here, you don't know the time that you need. Okay, in PERT, exactly, you don't know how much time you need. You just estimate the time. Okay, let's say we need around two months for this project. You're estimating. However, this critical path method is from previous experience. You kind of know the amount of time that you need. Okay, you can, by previous experience, you know the time. Time you know. So that is why you can say critical path, maximum time, how much you will need that you can decide in this critical path method. So basically here, your objective is to take the shortest time. You want to reach the destination with shortest time. That is what your objective is. You'll estimate, you'll plan everything else you do. But here you kind of know the amount of time it will take. Okay. So, and you know that this particular path, whichever is there here, this is the one that will take the longest time. This is the path that will take the longest time. So you want to focus on this and this will be your critical uh, path. Okay, the longest time one. And this will decide your total project time, isn't it? So here, what you should understand is the time factor is there here, right? In critical path method, you kind of know the amount of time. You uh, know it by previous experience, etc. Here, you don't know the time. You want to take the shortest time. You will estimate, etc. So guys, read the sentence that is given below here. Slack time cannot be identified in PERT and slack time can be identified in critical path method. Slack time is the difference between the minimum time required and the maximum time taken up for the activity. So you will um, say that we need at least 10 days for this project. Okay, You can take up to 15 days, maximum time taken. So 5 days is the slack time. So can you say the slack time in uh, program evaluation and review technique cannot identify. But in critical path method, you can you kind of know the amount of time by the previous experience. So you can determine the slack time. That's it. OK. So just remember here something's event activity. This one is for, uh, based on event. This is based on activity. Which one is bigger, guys, event or activity? What do you think? So anyways, now let's come to PERT, Program Evaluation and Review Technique. So basically, you don't know the amount of time that you will take, right? So you will make this kind of chart. So you'll prepare the plan, approve the plan, list the beneficiaries. Uh, then you will uh, arrange the resources that you need. You'll train these manpower. You'll educate the community about this, what you are doing. Then you will indent for the equipment. You'll ar trans arrange the transport. You'll start the service, etc. So this is some kind of a... PERT, okay, so you will also have an arrow diagram like this and uh, you will have a logical sequence of which event must take place after what. Very similar, right, any network analysis this is, okay. So basically you want to know the short, you want to complete all this within the shortest time. You want to minimize any delay, right, very simply, you want to minimize any delay, okay. 
so it aids in planning scheduling monitoring of the project see guys actually these people said this is more about event and uh, that one is more about activity and all that but the, that kind of boundary is not there okay event activity see here here they are telling each activity must be completed activity 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 so activity only guys so just remember everything is the basic concept is here you the time you do not know you have estimated okay that's it now what is this critical path method you will draw something like this and you will focus mainly on the path that takes the longest time that is the critical path method that is that's it guys it's almost the same both the things right the longest path of the network is called the critical path so if the critical path is delayed every project entire project will be delayed so uh, you use this um, network analysis so that you can again manage your project well that's it so here the critical path is this one and that is given the top priority that's it okay so that's it guys in uh, <clears throat> network analysis so network analysis comes under project management so there are two types you have pert and cpm so basically network is a graphic plan of all events and activities is the same thing of all events and activities to be completed in order so in order to reach your end objective okay so basically you have two met methods of network analysis like pert and cpm program evaluation and review technique and cpm that is a critical path method the difference is that uh, in pert you uh, the time that you require you estimate but here the time that you requ require you know from previous experience so you can know the slack time so i need 10 days okay by 15 days maximum it will be done so you have you can estimate the slack time and in pert you want to uh, complete the entire project in some particular time right but in critical path method what you are doing you are drawing that network analysis and you are finding out which uh, path takes the longest time so you will focus on this critical path so that you will be able to complete the project the critical path will receive more attention okay so pert basically arrow diagram you will uh, sequence you will draw like this so you will have uh, and you want to minimize delays you can plan schedule monitor the project as simple as that in uh, critical path method very similarly arrow diagram you are drawing except that whichever it is taking more time you are focusing on that more the one that takes the longest time that will become the critical path okay the longest path in the network is the critical path here the uh, the time the time will decide your longest path so the long the time the path from the start to end which takes the longest time will be your critical path and you have to focus on that because if this gets delayed everything gets delayed right okay that's it guys in this uh, video on network analysis bye bye